Hello and welcome, caring viewers, to Good People, Good Works. Today, we will journey to New Zealand, to the country's largest city of Auckland, to visit the Auckland City Mission. Founded by an Anglican priest named Jasper Calder in the early 20th century, the mission from its beginnings has strived to provide compassionate social and humanitarian service to the disadvantaged, regardless of their background. The organization's story is one of seeking to create an all-encompassing, harmonious community through God's grace and love. City Missioner or Chief Executive of the organization, Diane Robertson, recently spoke with Supreme Master Television and kindly gave more information about the history of and services offered by the mission. Let us now join Ms. Robertson in Auckland. The City Mission started in 1924 by a man called Jasper Calder. Jasper was a priest in the Anglican Church and looked at there was a need for social services in the city and he decided to fill that need. It started off working with women who were widowed and children and worked with homeless people, very much um, along the lines of much of the work that we do today. It was set up to do two things. One was to provide social services for the parishes and the other one was to provide a church. We offer a wide range of services to people. We have worked with people who have HIV and AIDS. We have services for people who have issues with drug and alcohol and people can come and stay with us. We provide services to homeless people and that's doctors, um, drop-in facilities where people can come for a tea or a coffee. We have opportunities for homeless people to engage in training and to work with us. And um, we work with elderly. We just work right across yeah. the whole spectrum yeah. of society. In 2008, approximately 35,000 visits were made to the mission's drop-in center for food, toiletries, and assistance in accessing social services. Also in the past year, Auckland City Mission provided 700,000 US dollars in food supplies to those in need through the community food program and gave out more than 4,500 food parcels, enough to feed 18,300 people. Let's hear from Mr. Chris Keep, who is the team leader of the food distribution department for the mission. Here we look after uh, uh, the food uh, intake um, for our food banks. We supply probably 40 to 50 uh, food banks around Auckland, and uh, we do collections uh, all around Auckland every day. And uh, as you can see throughout the depot here, we do collect a lot in bulk. It's put into food parcels for, for the Auckland City Mission itself. And then the actual bulk items are put out here for our food banks to come and collect and, um, and take away. And they, have it, they come in every two weeks. And uh, we try and give them a sort of balanced food, which is a bit of cereal, a bit of noodles, soups, and, and uh, canned foods, a bit of bread and anything else that we can to get there. So yeah, we probably supply over a year about 50,000 families through this, this area, yeah, so that's quite a few. Helping others is always a rewarding experience. Do you have any stories that you could tell us? We have people who come in every day and every now and again somebody comes back later on and says, thank you for what you've done. I've got my life together, I've finished school, and um, I've sorted out my housing, and life is good. And, and it's just lovely to think that we were there when they needed us at that particular time. It's wonderful to see when people get housed. And a couple of weeks ago we got a phone call from someone who said, I've just published my second book of poetry. And he was homeless for four years. And it was just an amazing thing to, to know that that had happened. But many times we don't know what it is we've done. It's more that there's the little things in people's life. It's often as small as saying good morning to somebody who's homeless because it may be the only conversation they have all day. Mm. Mm. It's, it's being caring about somebody and showing some compassion. 
And I think that's the wonderful thing about this job. It can be as small as giving a piece of bread to somebody in the morning or saying good morning, or it can be quite a large thing where we've been involved in somebody's life for a long time. We will be returning shortly with more stories about the successes of the Auckland City Mission in spreading God's love to those in need. Please stay with us. Welcome back to Good People, Good Works on Supreme Master Television. We are profiling the Auckland City Mission in New Zealand. The organization has a record of nearly 90 years of service to the community. It helps a wide spectrum of groups, from the elderly who have no family to assist them, to those who just need a food parcel to tide them over during a financial emergency. Diane Robertson the Auckland City Missioner or Chief Executive of the Auckland City Mission discussed with Supreme Master Television about the splendid staff at the Mission and gave more details on the many programs the Mission offers to residents of Auckland. As Ms. Robertson tells us, one secret of the organization's success has been building the Mission's identity on the basis of shared values. I'm the first non-priest ever to be appointed as a city missioner, and I'm the first woman. Everybody here holds a huge range of beliefs, yes, but yes. I think everybody's motivated by that genuine I don't know, spirituality or caring mm. for people. Everybody who works here has that. We were doing staff strategic planning to develop our sense of identity, and because we've been an Anglican church organisation, to, to say where are we going and what we're doing, and we sat in a room and everybody talked about why they worked at the mission. We came up with a group of values that um, I think come from all of the faiths, which is about integrity, respect, having a sense of community and developing that sense of community for ourselves and for our clients, and about being brave, being able to go out there and stand up and to advocate for people. It's a lovely set of values and, and everybody felt that they could hold on to those and own them. The Auckland City Mission also gives those without a home a place to refresh and recharge. People rely on the city mission for food every morning, for um, coming to get a shower and have a wash, um, for clothing when their bedding and clothing gets wet. During the weekends we provide a service for them where they can come in and they can play chess, they can be involved in art activities. We actually employ some homeless people as well to work with us. Seeking to spread God's love to the disadvantaged through action, the Auckland City Mission functions as a center that welcomes all. A project the mission is currently undertaking is, according to Ms. Robertson, a world's first. The initiative endeavors to make single or solo parents financially independent through a multi-faceted approach. We're also developing 50 apartments for solo parents returning to work, and so we're just in the process of a major building project around all that at the moment. It's a $70 million build, wow. and it's huge. The apartments for solo parents to go back into university is a first of its type in the world. I guess my vision's pretty big yes. in terms of looking at different ways that we can support people for life changes, so that, so that women, for instance, can actually come and do their degree and move on and, and give themselves and their children a better life. In three years, they can actually get their degrees. At the moment, it takes women part-time between 11 and 13 years to get a degree. The Christmas season is an especially busy time for the mission. Every day we have families come to see us who need food parcels. And during Christmas period, we gave a thousand food parcels in a two and a half week period to families. And traditionally, that is really women who are living by themselves. and. If it wasn't for the city mission, those people would go hungry. They would not have food on their table. Christmas is also a time we give out 25,000 Christmas presents to children throughout New Zealand. We um, have to raise 750,000 in five weeks. We put on dinner for 1,500 people and we distribute over 1,600 food parcels. And so in a four to five week period, we have an enormous load that we carry. As city missioner, Ms. Diane Robertson takes seriously her responsibility to ensure her organization fulfills its duties to the community and that the mission is financially stable.
so it can continue to assist the people of Auckland in the future. I have this really strong belief that you can make a difference in people's lives. We need to be accountable for the dollars we get. We need to be professional. I've been drawn to the not-for-profit area in terms of helping people, but I very want to do it in a way that is very conscious about using our resources in the mm. best possible way. Mm. My big vision is to create um, services that give a really big benefit back to society. So what's the best way the community can support the city mission? One, of course, is financially. The other way is through volunteer action, is, is coming in and working with us. And that can be volunteering from working with homeless people or sorting present to being advocates as well. We would like to convey our gratitude to all the staff and volunteers at the Auckland City Mission for their selfless service to the residents of Auckland. A special thanks goes to Ms. Diane Robertson for giving us insight into the mission's purpose, history, and organization. May the Auckland City Mission continue in its excellence in serving others for many years to come. Thank you, loving viewers, for being with us for today's Good People, Good Works. Please stay tuned for the world around us right after Noteworthy News, here on Supreme Master Television. May our world become more harmonious and loving each day.